So this is problem number two on equilibrium of uh, forces. We'll go through the problem. Determine the forces induced in the members AC and BC of the structure shown in figure. Okay. And there is a 500 Newton force applied at point C. Due to this 500 Newton force, there will be forces induced or forces generated in members BC and AC. We have to find that forces in both the members. Okay. So let me write the free body diagram for uh, uh, this uh, system of force. Free body diagram means it is a diagram which represents uh, the different forces acting on a body that is called as free body diagram and it will help uh, to do the uh, calculations okay of finding the forces. So there are members AC and BC right. There is a horizontal force of 500 Newton. Okay. Okay. Here angle given is 50 degree, and here angle given is how much? It is 30 degree. 30 degree. Okay. So we have to find force in member BC and AC. So due to this 500 Newton force applied at, uh, let me write A, B, C. This is point A, this is point B and this is point C. Due to the force applied at point C, due to the 500 Newton force applied at point C, there will be forces induced in members BC and AC. That force we have to find. Now let me call... Uh, TBC has force induced in member BC and let me call TAC as force induced in member AC. Here T represents tensile force. Tensile means the force which acts away from the joint that is called as tensile force. So I have assumed TAC and TBC as forces induced in member BC and the AC. Okay, now what I will do is I will for the calculation purpose, I will draw one horizontal here. I will draw one horizontal here. The angle is 90 degree. Angle is 90 degree. Then, what will be the angle here? So, this will be, this angle will be, see if I call this point as point D, in, in right angle triangle BDC, one angle is 90, another angle is 30, uh, so the remaining angle will be 60 degree, correct? So on the other side, if I take right angle triangle ADC, one angle is 90, another angle is 50, remaining angle is 40. So 180 minus 50 minus 90 will give 40, 180 minus 30 minus 90 will give 60. So the overall angle on this side, will be how much? 60 plus 40, 100 degree, 100 degree. Okay. Now, what will be the angle on this side? So, on this side, angle will be, see, overall angle is 180. 180 minus 60, 120, 120. Similarly, on the other side, angle is 180 minus 40, 140. Okay. Now, we got all the three angles between the members BC, AC and 500 Newton force. Now, we can apply the Lamis theorem, right? Applying the Lamis theorem. Applying Lamis theorem. Lamis theorem. 500 divided by Opposite angle for the 500 Newton is 100 degree. Sin 100 is equal to. Uh, let me rewrite the equation as TBC. Okay, TBC divided by a TBC force opposite angle is 140. Sin 140. Sin 140 is equal to. 500 divided by 
for 500 meter force opposite angle is 100 sin 100 is equal to TAC TAC divided by sin opposite angle is 120 okay now consider the first and second equation in first and second equation only TBC is the unknown therefore TBC is equal to 500 sin 140 divided by sin 100 by this you will get answer for forcing member BC okay uh, forcing member BC will be 3 326.35 Newton now consider second and the third equation in second and third equation TAC is the unknown therefore TAC is equal to 500 sin 120 divided by sin 100 so by this we will get the value of TAC that is 439.69 Newton now we have got the forces induced in member BC and AC of the member ok to this uh, uh, we have done with solution of this particular problem thank you